And we're back on air just like that. Karibu back to Y254 TV. This is still Y in the morning, hashtag Thursday vibes, where we get to radiate your morning. Stephanie Sema, we are giving you good vibes, and that is what we are serving. Nothing short of that. Tumetoka from a very short break, and you've seen his video. His name is Mr. Vibe. Vibe, I'm a vibe. <laughs> Mr. Vibe. <Where? laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> Mr. Vibe, we have been doing a lot of things to create a vibe. Karibu Sala, salute my fans using that camera. Hello, hello, my fans. What you call it? We are on Y254. Big up. Karibu Sala. Asante Sala. So, what music do you sing? I do gospel music. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a born again gospel musician. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um. Ndio ufike kwa hii point yenye uliamua sasa ni ngoma, mm -hmm. ni, ni mziki, tuko mm -hmm. kwa gospel. Mm -hmm. e, Ulijipata aja hapo? Um, first, nili encounter Christ kwa life yangu. Na mini meokoka. So, ni spirit led. Yeah. Spirit led. Eish, spirit led. Yeah. So, uyo Christ uki encounter ulikuwa kichali wa mtai vi, kidogo kidogo. E, hey, nilikuwa, nilikuwa pale high school. Uh, the first time we encounter Christ kwa life yangu nilikuwa tu ordinary tu amta kabisa yeah huna ndika ngoma za ko from what inspiration scripture uh, mimi nika from scripture na day to day life uh, activities like zile vitu zinafanyika kwa life daily yeah hizo ndio zinazinspire sana yeah uh, you can you can share with us one time where you went through something that was that shook your faith in Christ <sighs> Yeah, I think betrayal, betrayal, I was saying, uh, temptations, kadatu. like, kuna time when you, nili, nili backslide, kabisa, like, uh, you went back, nili kwa into drug addiction, na bituka hizo, so, you know, time, nili kwa like, eh, hey. nili ona ni kama God exist, ju, nili kwa na aminizo vitu zinaweza sana, but, I'm glad that I came back strong, kwa sabu, the Holy Spirit ya nili. Ali nyo kwa sana ya ni. Yeah. Kwa hiyo, kwa hiyo taimenye ulikuwa, kwa cha ni ite darkness. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm born again. So, wow. Yeah. So kwa hiyo taimenye ulikuwa, kwa, kwa darkness, mm -hmm. uh, ulikuwa nangalia mbele, uwoni kitu, kando uwoni kitu, mm -hmm. nyuma uwoni kitu. Nini mm -hmm. ilikuwa na go through mind yako? Um, first of all, nilikuwa, <laughs> nilikuwa nasikia, Nilikuwa nasikia tu nime give up, like nilikuwa na tu, ah, life wacha tu yukue, like, it take its course, yani, vya ini kai tu vile nataka. So, like, mi nilikuwa, kitu ita happen, tu ihappen. Kwa hiyo point nilikuwa, nilikuwa na wana, like, kitu ita happen, tu ita happen, na nitaba kitu vile niko, it's okay. Mm. Do you think maramingi wasani wa gospel, mm -hmm. or rather wasani, mm -hmm. um, saizi tunapushiwa na do, mm -hmm. rather than kuandika kwa? content icon a message of Christ. Um sidani 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 sidani. Kwa nini? Eh uh, kwa sababu I think there's a partition between darkness and light. Na hata kama kuna mse motivation yake ni do. It's just a matter of time na atakuwa wiped out. So I think there is a partition of light and darkness. Yeah, that's what I can comment about that. <laughs> yeah. Kongo Mazako, uh -huh. which one is your favorite? My favorite mm -hmm. actually is my latest release. That's my favorite so far. Yeah. I think. Um, Jine yongo mani gani? Vibe, vibe. Actually, that's where that's hey. where the name Mr. Vibe came from. Ima tu ima tu akas small party yongo ma. Huku kwa Yesu ni fulu vibe, vibe. Huku kwa Yesu ni fulu vibe. Ino kwa Yesu ni fulu vibe. Fulu vibu. Eshe, tugende. <laughs> eh, okay. So, uh -huh. mbona iongoma ni your favorite? Um, Wacha ni cut long story short, but um, I'm a missionary. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I do missions with Keiko. And uh, so, he, he song, like, it came as a testimony to me and a confirmation that I'm in the right place at the right season. So like nilikuwa na travel kwenda Burundi and God just gave me a vision of this song and for sure like misi kwata na jua at your song itakuwa very good song and a great song 
I'm a revival song. So I just recorded ID on the phone. Na I went to Burundi. So God connects me with some young young other guys. When you me see one of good artists in Burundi, gospel artists. So me meeting them, any events will turn out to like there there, there was just ma, uh, so much grace kwa the project. Ile design any any look very evident ni God ame predestine na me orchestrate everything like si kwa na force kitu like vitu zikuwa na work to in order like. Ilikuwa tu yani God led kabisa. Yani ilikuwa ili ni inspire can show that yenyewe God anaweza tumia mtu yote na in a very very different way. Most especially mimi mse mwenye nimetoka place yenye sikuwa ijua nitakuwa in a position nitafanya an international collaboration. Yeah. Nini nini huku yeah I know uliko umetuambia scripture mm -hmm. but I want to really know the creative process mm -hmm. yenye you ku inspire you kandi kangoma what the new author na bonga mta what like uh, i believe zile zile what the new author na tumia kwa mta hizo ndio vitu zenye like msata relate nayo like kwa street ukisikia word kama mbogi unaona hizo ni vitu zenye msana relate nayo na ukimwambia mbogi at least juu mimi na na naimba na sana kukapcha my youths wa get to encounter Christ through music so like mimi nitaka kuongea lugha yenye wana understand. So nitatumia ile 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 lugha yenye wana understand then nawekea word hapo ndani. Ushaipata mtu mwenyewe anafikiria that um, especially the older generation uh -huh. ya kida mama zetu uh -huh. eh wenye wanafikiria anga eh ukimba na hiyo lugha hujaokoka maana hiyo ni lugha gani? Yeah yeah. Nime... Who the legend is 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 sarcastic. Okay, I will not call them sarcastic but yeah. who the legend is to opinions to you probably like ai ngoma si mtu ameokoka. Um I think mimi mimi na guide you sana na word na mimi huwa si si focus na vitu zenye wanasema. Mimi na focus na vitu zenye word inasema. Kwa sababu hata Christ tukiangalia Christ mwenyewe hako ameisha ame 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 available kama on other kuishi life yenye mboeka. So like mimi vile wana deal nazo I don't prove a point anyway I just know that my life is guided by Christ so ile zile words zenye watu wanasema vitu watu wanabonga as in define mimi najua the true definition and the Christ that I carry in me yeah uko na ma collab umefanya yeah na nani um kuna collab nimefanya actually this 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 was my second collab eh yenye nimerekod ya kwanza nimefanya na Didiman sio kwa unajua Didiman namsikia alikuwa kelele takatifu uh, that's my mentor so tumefanya naye collab and uh, nimefanya pia this collab with the Burundians this was my first international collaborations yeah ah amazing yeah. so what do you look at when you're collaborating with someone um first of all um the, my 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 main intention is that uh, to achieve a, 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 a same goal the same goal with this person i'm collaborating with and um, what are we gaining when you're doing this collaboration like ni nini itanisaidia ni step gani itanipeleka in my career as a person yeah amazing mm -hmm. so umejipata mara kadhaa ume ume perform this is an interesting question i love asking uh, mm -hmm. gospel musicians mm -hmm umejipata umeenda please flani mm -hmm. ume 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 perform um alafu after we perform wakwambia ndugu bwana akubariki sana tumebarikiwa mm. aya waja kupea hata kafea <laughs> 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 unajua uh, secular industry uh -huh. ukikama umepiga show uh, unajua man mliniita hapa nilipe uh -huh. 10k mlilipe 5k uh -huh. nitoke niende zangu but now conversations za pesa uh -huh. na gospel music or they rather or rather kwa injili mm -hmm. zinakuanga tricky sana how do you handle those ones hey you know mentega <laughs> lakini ni sawa <laughs> they do believe um anyway um at the end of the day nikienda kwa duka ya mka, eh, duka sitambi omse anipe mkate bila do you get it uh, so it depend it depend i'm coming to this event what kind of event is it like nyinyi mmejipanga aje kitu kai hiyo 
na pia hata hata kama ni ministry wise ninazataka kutoa lesson kwa wase hapo nje that let's let's learn to appreciate people with what uh, gifts they are gifted in but also the bible says that your gift will shall, yeah, yeah so i think hizi ni vitu zenye siati siati na define was like the gospel world is not like the secular world na mimi personally i live on i live on provision so what it depend on income so mimi at any at any place i step in any place where i set my foot a blessing is commanded there na ile design yenye mimi najua god at open door yeah whether you give it to me or not i know and i'm for sure for sure god at at open door na atani provide you whatever i need okay yeah do you think that um gospel musicians mm-hmm. should be paid in their churches for what they do yeah if it's possible they should be paid Mm-hmm. Kama kuna hiyo doko nini asipewe? <laughs> kwa nini? Kama mnaweza lipa stima kwa church, kama mnaweza <laughs> kwa nini asilipo? The same way to run a instrumentalist na wao wanafanya vitu. They should be paid kama kuna hiyo uwezo church. Yeah, they should be. I hear you. Yeah, because Bible si nasema mtu anafanya kazi afanye nini? As, uh, mwenye mwenye afanye Mwenye afanye si? Asikule. Na mwenye anafanya kazi si akule. Eh. Si ndio? So kama hii ni place of work yake, kwa nini asikule? Yeah. Uh, kwa industry who do you look up to? Hey, I look up to a lot of people but first of all I look up to um Didiman. Didiman is my mentor. Um, I have Moji Short Baba and Jabidi, Timeless Noel. They are my good friends and people I look up to like the steps they have made in the in the gospel industry. Yeah. yeah ushaji pato mweko sana na production crew that is producer mm. eh, yeah. yeah yeah i can't lie Uli you know you know it's very kama kuna place yenye ni sensitive mm-hmm. watu wako kwa gospel industry mm-hmm. kuna ile aspect ya tumeokoka atfai kukuazana tumeokoka atfai ku mambo ifai kwenda style flani yeah. so how do you deal with such issues um first of all i'm human gospel musician si robot ni mtu kweli um, so bible bible inasema nature yetu it's a sinful nature si ndio but god anatupatia grace si ndio so mimi kwa point zenye tuliko sana na labda producer ama any anyone in production site at first labda tumeko sana but huwa na pray na naambia god manze nipatie grace ya kusamea wase na ku kwa kari kwa life yangu kwa sababu in either way we need each other at all times yeah if you were to change something about the gospel industry mm. what would it be hey. or rather the music industry in general music industry yes um i think i'll 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 naweza ka value ya ku ku impact community in a positive way yeah like kuna vitu zinaendelea kwa music scene like Music is very powerful in a way that kitumia music vibaya inaweza mess up a generation. So mimi nataka like music zetu zikuwe impactful kwa generation in a positive way. Like vitu zenye zinaweza fanya wasi wajione a greater people, wajione a very important people kwa sababu kuna words zinaweza tumika kwa muziki zenye zinafanya mtu hata akai very important na akai very valuable. Yeah. Um kwa life mm-hmm. verse gani ukupush eh first samuel 2 verse 8 i think this where hana was praying and uh, alikuwa na ask god mtoi apate samuel so inasemanga he he lifts the poor from the dust and makes them sit with kings you understand so like ivas won inspire kwa sababu kama hana alikuwa kwa hiyo situation alikuwa hako amepata mtu for that long lakini god akamkamia through so mimi najiwanga that god in all my situations in all my endeavors and everything mimi najiwanga god ata come through kwa any situation so hiyo kitu ni push kabisa na mimi najua that god anakuanga there for me at any time amazing yeah um as we 
come to a wrap of this conversation, yeah, sure. Nikona, a couple of one, two, three questions to mm -hmm. ask you. Mm -hmm. How have you navigated the most difficult challenges you've experienced? There's a time I went through a phase of depression. Uh, it was very tough. It was a very tough season in my life, but I overcame. I overcame. It was tough, sana. Like I almost gave up on everything I was doing. Now it was tough, but Ooh. we are here. We are strong. Yeah. So uli uli. Una try. Una joa. Watch and watch and show. To to kick off from the other end, uh -huh. your life. Uh -huh. to know, to know, I'm say I may make it. Yeah. To know, maybe I can go make that. Uh -huh. To know, I'm Mr. Vibe. Uh -huh. I can, I can, like life. Like in a song, all of you know, I feel like we're shida. All of you know, see when you talk about this, you'll be pretty angry because she don't know me God. At a God, I kill her. To a man, you'll be fine. You'll be humble. You'll, you'll just say, "Kaj, you'll ingi, you'll excuse me, man, go, man, you'll talk happy." You know, mm, yeah. Mm. Uh, actually, kitu yako ni God. Let's say ni God. Ni God. Kiukweli, kiukweli kabisa. Like um, having, I had a lot of people around me who covered me and they walked with me through that journey. Na jua depression ni kitu nje. Actually, me ni likuja kurealize ni depression after a while. Si kwa na jua depression. Kuna depression yezaku pata ukose kujua ni depression. So me si kwa na jua depression. So these people, my friends and my closest people, family and friends and my closest people, Sana, they walked me through it pole pole and through prayer also and encouragements and just being there for me. That's how I walked out of it, yeah. But mainly na juani prayer ili work, Sana. To me, camera, one be me youth man, me to my highly home, young person because our demographic near young people. Mm -hmm. Ameka to home, mm -hmm. either akona depression, ama ameamka hana hope ya kugo through life, mm -hmm. ama vitu hazingiani, mm -hmm. ako tu kwa place yanyana need encouragement. Having gone through the experience first hand, mm -hmm. I want you to encourage such a person. Whew. Hello, kama zeo kopale mta, na unanicheki sai. Siju ume, ume go through which situations, juri ume pitia, sijui nini. No matter how the situation looks like, just know that at the end of the tunnel, kuna kwa gana light. That no matter, no matter what circumstance you're going through, kuna point in a kame nye, life yako itabaki the same. Na mina juwa kauna nuwachi sayi, nataka kuku encourage na kukuambia that. Just keep fighting, keep it strong, keep it locked there. Na ujua that in anything you're going through, Keep it strong, keep it prayerful. Kabisa na God that come through kwa yu situation yako. So we still give up. Keep it there, Kabisa. You're a champion. Amina. Yeah. So, to pay parting shot, that is, uh, Salimia my fans, mm -hmm. na to pay social media handles zako. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> aha, aha. Thank you for watching me here. Uh, it has been good to be here. And I've really enjoyed hanging out here. And uh, my good name is Brabi Music, a.k.a. Mr. Vibu, boy from the West, Busia by birth, Nairobi by bus, Boston by air. That's what we trust. Uh, <laughs> on social media, Instagram, I am Brabi Music. Uh, Facebook, Brabi Music. Everywhere, Brabi Music. My phone number is 07. Utatuma lakini, wacha tutachi hapo. Tutendelea na yon namba badai. Sindiyo? Ukisema... Ukisema hiyo place ya Busia by Bath, Nairobi by Bath, Boston by Air. Yeah. Mini likuwa lafikiria na sema kwetu ni wapi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, of course. Busia, <laughs> Busia by Bath. Hey, mini <laughs> mse... Mimi ni wao. Hey, mimi think. Mimi ni, ni, ni Nairobi by Bath, Makueni by, by Bath. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good it's a good place to wrap up this conversation. Yeah, Asante sure. sana. Thank you for making time. Thank you for having we me. really appreciate you. Mm. So at a mimi ni Y254 by bus. Na tulikuwa la Steph kwa kwa set by by food. 
<laughs> and that is how we wrap up the conversation by word of mouth <laughs> and see you tomorrow. My yeah. name is Grace Maingi. Do not touch that dial. We are coming back with more. The station is still coming back with a lot more. But for Why in the Morning, we've wrapped it up here. Tukutane Kesho, social vibes, same time, same place, same situation. God bless you. Why two five four?